everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sala and I'm making music under the name Sarulo and today I want to talk about DistroKid who has deleted my music, stolen my money, blocked me from logging into their site and they are still refusing to talk with me. So I will start from the beginning. So on January this year I subscribed to DistroKid. I paid the more expensive subscription fee because I wanted to features on that one and I released one EP and two singles from my upcoming debut album on January and April. From April to May I talked with two different customer servants on DistroKid because I wanted to pick my synced lyrics which didn't work but n nobody fixed them like in the end they never fixed it and fast forward to last week I realized that there is something wrong with my music on Instagram because I sometimes use them on my stories but after Wednesday I couldn't find them and I thought it was my phone so I didn't react immediately but on Sunday I went over to my Spotify and I realized that they were actually gone it wasn't just my phone they were gone from Spotify and they were also gone from every other platform that DistroKid was supposed to put them into and I was freaked out of course I was like having a complete mental breakdown. I tried to log in to their site to figure out what's going on, but it only said this. And then I reached my Finnish friends who are also using DistroKid and they said that they can log in normally because I was thinking that maybe there was some Europe, US thing going on, but no. And I started Googling and I found out that I'm not the only one who's had this happened to them. Literally, there are so many people who are talking about this same topic, like their music being deleted and distroked, blocking them from logging in to their site. And what's more twisted with my case is that they still have one of my songs up, which means that even though they have prevented me from logging in, they have blocked me from logging in, which means I can't even get the money I already had there out. They are still making money with this one song and I will never get it because I can't log in because they have blocked me. So not only have they stolen my money that I have made from the streams and people buying my music in the past they are also still making money with my music without any intention of giving it to me so I can't not understand how you can treat your customers as a company how you how can you treat your customers who are literally paying you to do your job how can you treat them like this? It's like, this is my life work. This is my life. I don't think that in this life there is more important things than music for me. Like, I just can't even begin to explain how it feels when someone is treating your life work as if it was a meaningless piece of trash. They are treating me as a human being and as their customer as a meaningless piece of trash. And what makes it even worse is that it's not just one mistake they are making. Like if this is a mistake, which I kind of hope it is because it's even more twisted if it isn't. But if this is a mistake, it's a mistake they have made so many times because there are so many videos and stories like this on different platforms and people have tried to reach distro kid and sometimes they reply in around two weeks or something usually they answer in two days actually they have answered me twice in two days 
for one day. Now it's been almost a week and they haven't still answered. I have tried to reach them in their contact form. I have tweeted at them, I have tried to reach them on Reddit because for some reason the owner of DistroKid wants to do part of his work on Reddit which is quite professional or not <laughs> and I'm basically having a mayhem on Instagram right now. I'm just wondering like how far will they take this not replying thing because it's basically only going to harm them. Like. Would they just have replied me on Monday or Tuesday this week? We could have solved this. I mean, at that point, I was just like, okay, this is a mistake, please fix it, put my songs back up, we're good. But that was many days ago. At this point, I have a lawyer. I have contacted Finnish Musicians Union, Finnish Copyright Organization, and I'm not gonna stop until they deal with this, like actually deal with this. Because this is just wrong. It, it, stuff like this can't happen. And this is only like me thinking it's a mistake. But what if it's not? Because I don't know, no one knows because they are not replying. And that's the worst part. Like you're a company and you are basically having customers who pay you for your service and you're not replying when they have problems. Like, what the f***? You, you just can't erase someone's life work and disappear. You just can't stole someone's money and disappear. That's not right. It's not legal. It's not okay. So because I couldn't reach DistroKid, I contacted Spotify for Artists and they actually replied to me in half an hour. And so Spotify for Artists confirmed to me that DistroKid has deleted my music on 29th of June and they have no claims over it, Spotify. Uh, they have nothing to do with it and yeah. I'm not gonna stop until I get this solved. I'm really not. So, this trucket, if any of you there is watching this, I really think you should reply now because the further you go with this not replying thing, the more angry we all get and the more damage it will do to you as a company. This really sucks! I'm so angry and I'm so frustrated. If you are using DistroKid, I would warmly suggest that you consider changing your distribution service like now because I wouldn't want this to happen to anyone. Just do it. <sighs> I'm so tired and honestly, I would so much rather be concentrating on making my debut album which I was doing before this shit happened than making this kind of rant videos over a company me up. Yeah, so this whole case is still unresolved so I will be making a part two when I get more information about this. So if you already don't follow me on here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you will know when I post the part two. I'm also very active on Instagram. If you wanna follow me on there, then you will most likely also know when I post more on here. And if you want to hear my music, it's still up on Bandcamp, which I put a link to in the description box. It's basically the only place where my music is still up if you wanna support me till the part two and stay safe and away from this trophy and thank you for watching.